This weekend, there was a thrilling Merseyside derby with high levels of play from both Liverpool and Everton. However, this was overshadowed by a set of reckless tackles and some dodgy referee decisions. The most concerning being Jordan Pickford's reckless challenge on Virgil van Dijk. I'm also hearing though that VAR didn't check this, which kind of makes the situation even worse as to all the fans, it seemed like a blatant red card. If you don't know me already, my name is Matthew Fayisa and I'm a medical student from London interested in sports medicine. Make sure to hit the like button and most importantly, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any videos in the future and you personally can join this ever-growing sports medicine community. If we look at some footage or some still frame shots, we can see just how reckless this challenge was. Pickford comes sliding in very fast, taking out Van Dyke around the sh upper shin level, however, potentially even thigh level. The force of the tackle was so great, it forces Van Dyke's tibia, which is the shin bone, to move backwards with force behind the femur, which is not its correct anatomical position. It's also important to note that Van Dyke's lead leg foot was pointing outwards, so externally rotated. So that provides two ingredients for a disastrous ACL injury. The first being an externally rotated foot, and the second being the dynamic knee in a valgus position. This mechanism of injury led me to initially think that this is most likely an intracapsular knee ligament injury, either an ACL or a PCL, rather than an extracapsular ligament of the MCL and LCL ligaments on the outside of the knee. What makes it even more damning for Van Dijk is the fact that when he landed, his foot was stretched, pointed outwards as I mentioned before, and all his weight was extended on that lead leg. As I suspected, upon first seeing this injury in slow motion, this was in fact the anterior cruciate ligament and Liverpool have now confirmed this. This is probably the most infamous injury in sports and the one players don't want to get. If we look at the knee, we can appreciate the attachments of the ACL ligament. It originates from the intercondylar region of the tibia and ascends upwards and backwards to attach to the lateral condyle of the femur. As you can appreciate, it forms a close relationship with the PCL, the posterior cruciate ligament, which is the reverse. This forms a cross shape. The way to visualize the function of ligaments are to imagine them as elastic bands. Ligaments like elastic bands hold two bones in place, connecting one bone to another, and help to restrict movement in certain planes. The ACL, as it attaches the tibia, the shin bone, in an upwards backwards fashion to the femur which is the thigh bone we can connote that it prevents the tibia from kind of shifting forwards like this in front of the knee and in front of the thigh bone as a result it prevents a movement called anterior dislocation the act of force of pickford's challenge even though it's in the opposite direction so backwards like this it kind of excessively stretched the acl ligament this damaged the structure which we're going to get into but if you were to perform something called an anterior draw test on Van Dyke's knee, you would see that the ACL structure is completely gone and it can no longer complete its function. This means that now the tibia, which is the shin bone, can now move forward in front of the knee and in front of the femur, causing an instable knee. Liverpool have now confirmed the diagnosis and come out saying that Van Dyke has suffered a grade three sprain of the anterior cruciate ligament. Unfortunately, this is the most severe type of ligament sprain that a player can get. In this image, we can see a comparison between what a grade one, grade two, and grade three sprain of the ACL ligament look like. Van Dijk suffered a grade three, so the worst kind, which is a complete separation or a detachment from its insertion points in the bones. This compared to a grade one is a lot worse as in a grade one sprain of the ligament, there's a slight stretch which causes micro tears in the internal structure of the ligament. I am wary to give a time frame as typically in elite sports, players have access to world-class treatment, world-class rehabilitation, and unlike normal people in their regular jobs, they don't have to take time out of work to rehab. Typically an ACL injury, however, will mean a seven months recovery time up to a year, depending on the rehabilitation method. So with this expected time frame, I'm going to say that Van Dijk is most likely out for the rest of the 2020-21 season. This is really unfortunate for both Van Dijk and Liverpool, as well as the fans. However, it's good to see Liverpool and the medical team have wasted no time, sent him in for surgery, which I believe he's having this week. From the Oxford Clinical Handbook, early mobilisation with brace protection allows commencement of strengthening and proprioception exercises within days rather than the original periods of weeks or even months. With modern rehabilitation, return to sport is now usually possible 90% of the time amongst athletes at six months post-operatively. This makes the injury have a lot better prognosis than it would have many years ago. So based on this information, could we potentially see Van Dijk come 
around April time, May time. If I had to bet, I would say no. But, you know, you never know. I have been wrong in the past with, particularly with Andre Gomez, who I predicted would be out for a year, maybe even longer. But somehow the Everton staff managed to get him back in four months, which is probably the biggest sports miracle I've seen in terms of injury recovery. Let me know your thoughts on Van Dijk's injury and when you expect him to come back. Before you go, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. Also, click the i button in the top right hand corner or check the links in the description for five of my most recent videos. My most recent one being a guy named Jonathan Richer who was unfortunately struck down by lightning in the middle of a match. This caused a cardiac arrest where his heart stopped beating, caused a leg amputation and as a result, a career ending injury. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.